Hey, 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 Superior Shea fans and other humans, how are you doing today? I wish you a happy time of day of your local observation time of the video. And this is for the person from Pennsylvania. Uh, this is a 4580 Dovo Prima Silver Steel. And this is the sound of the razor as we strop it from the factory. Is this a new production or a previous to 2022? This is a new one. Now let's see how it sounds. This is a notably wide piece, and it has the little heel hook there, and uh, the, t the toe looks very straight. But I suppose we can take the Norton Ascent and make that part a little bit closer to the back. You know, I'm kind of split on whether or not that really helps you. All right, Superior Shea fans, do you see all that marks? This is the Norton Ascent. So do you see there? I'll try to do it on camera. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, that's a brutal noise. It doesn't take much. The uh, the razor is really thin down there. Boy, it's going to take forever to put that edge back on there. So that's the idea and then hopefully that little zone right there where the stabilizer is you won't actually hone on that. Okay Superior Shea fans we have kind of uh, reached the point where we are not getting we've gotten everything we're going to get out of that uh, Sal's and Grit Stone. Do you see those little marks below the secondary grind? This little secondary grind that you see and you see that new bevel, you can see the marks that are coming from the convex hone touching there. You see those little shiny marks there? And the edge, if you look at it in the magnifier, it's starting to get chewed up from the thousand grit stone. On the non-show side, yeah, we've got a little bit of marks right there. It's right where the belly comes together. Let's see if I can show you the belly. The belly is about there. And then this zone is where the wheel has a good chance to carve into that which is there. We are going to, uh, yeah, and look, you can see I've honed a little bit too much down there, but I did not go on the stabilizer, that's good. But we've got edge all the way across from the convex hone, and it's time to switch to the convex cuticle with its much more long diameter, and that will softly erase all those little chips down there. Okay, Superior Shea fans, I have only honed this thing on the 10 inch cuticle, maybe two dozen laps. Now at the previous step, when I bludgeoned the heel of the razor, uh, this part down here would completely ignore arm hair. And if you imagine that the camera's position was where my eyeball was with a loop and you go like this and just move it just a little bit this way and shine a bright light, you would actually see light right at the heel of the edge pointing directly back toward you, indicating a, you know, coming together like this. And instead of a, um, instead of a point at the tip, we chopped off the point and made a little flat spot because we rounded off the heel to get the heel shorter. Look, it's really short now. I, I, I'm torn whether to do that. I know a lot of the customers want it, but the fact of the matter is, like H. Brad Boonshaft says on the Badger and Blade, I would say 95% plus of the razors have this feature. As long as they have a stabilizer, it's always there. Are you telling me that they're producing 95% defective razors, or is the mentality from the producer such that they don't define it as a defect? If they don't define it that way, who's right? The end consumer's preference or the, the guy that's making the stuff? It's amazing to me that just after a couple of dozen laps there, doo -ba -doo, if I go all the way down at the bottom there, -ba -dee, even that first little millimeter. Okay, Superior Shea fans and other humans, I have 
put it on the Arkansas stone. The edge is lovely. It's time to give it a strop. You can see my little marks there. Below where it says Prima and Steel, you can see how it's coming at that angle toward the heel. And um, on the notion on show side, looks pretty good. A couple over here. Too wide up and up into the hollow grind area here. But the cutting edge is uh, not bad in terms of the linearity. Okay, time to strop. Lovely.